welcome back to another Swift tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to customize your app's launch screen. So if we just hit Command R in this project here, we see as the app launches, we have this background with the house logo in the middle. So we're going to be learning how to do that in addition to making it customizable and adaptable to things like dark mode. So here I've set the simulator in dark mode. And we're just going to delete this app to reinstall it to make sure it shows up properly. Go to Xcode and run the app. And we see now our launch screen has a black background and the text and the logo were white. So we'll be talking about how to do this. It's fairly simple. So that said, get Xcode ready. Drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new and let's get into it. So we'll begin by starting a new Xcode project. And we're going to stick with our single view application. Let's call this project my launch screen and we'll save it on our desktop and get into it. So first things first, let's select our simulator of choice up here, which will be the one that I've got open. Hit command R to build and run and you'll see your empty app gets installed and it launches. Now it's a little hard to distinguish because the screen, the main controller's view is white as well as the uh, launch screen image. But let's go to our view controller and let's set the views background color to be red. Hit command R to build and run. And you'll notice that first screen when it was launching was white. And then once we entered our app, now things are red. So we're going to be designing and learning how to customize this white launch screen, as well as make it adaptive to things like dark mode. So to basically configure that screen, we need to go to the launch screen.storyboard file over here, which was automatically created for us. And if you're not familiar with this menu that I just popped open, you can hit Command Shift O. It lets you search your whole project, and I just have a habit of using it um, after working on larger projects that have thousands of files. So if you ever see me use that, that's what it is. But anyways, let's uh, expand Xcode to give ourselves a little more room to work. Let's do this side as well. Basically, the way that launch screens work these days is uh, Apple provides a storyboard and we can customize things like images, constraints, colors, and whenever we launch, this is what we see. So for some background, um, I think this will help you guys appreciate this a little more, is back in the day, around the time of like iOS 5, 6, and 7, what Apple required developers to do was instead of providing a storyboard, because that wasn't a thing back then, we used to provide actual images for the launch screens. And similar to app icons today, where you have to provide multiple sizes and resolutions, we had to provide those for launch screens as well. So you can imagine with the various screen sizes for different devices, from like iPhone 4 to like the larger screens to iPads, uh, and then when retina displays became a thing, so pixel density went up, it became a major pain in the butt to have to make so many images. So the move to storyboards was definitely welcomed and is something that saves you a ton of time. So that said, let me shut up and let's actually design this. So similar to any of your screens in your app, you can bring in any item um, from the UI kit library. So for example, if we bring in a UI image view, and drop it on in. We can set images and we can set constraints, background colors and all that good stuff. So let's start by setting an image. So we're gonna go into image and we're just gonna put a house image in here, which is a built-in image. And we're also going to set constraints. So come down here, select this icon and let's give it a static width and height of 200 by 200 but we also want this icon to be centered. So let's also come down to uh, this icon and add centered and horizontally uh, in container constraints. And we'll see that we have no error icon up here. If your constraints conflict, you'll see like a little red exclamation mark. But if we hit Command R to build and run, you'll see in the simulator, it was really fast. Let's try that one more time. You'll see we should see our launch screen and sometimes if you don't see it, like I think it's white right now, it's actually a simulator bug. So you, you're going to have to delete the app in your simulator. 
like so. And uh, hit Command R one more time to build and run, and you'll see we get our lawn screen. Uh, that's been a simulator bug for a long time that Apple refuses to fix. But anyways, that's how you get that working. So of course, we can also set background colors to this. But before we do that, what I want to show is right now the simulator is in light mode and the background of this is white. But if we go to settings, developer, and turn the switch on for a dark mode and open this app again. And if it decides to not be super fast so we can actually see it, the background should be black, which you saw for a half second there it is. So let's build and run again. You see the background is black for the lawn screen. So it's really important, especially with light mode and dark mode these days, that things kind of adapt to the view and the color space you're in. So storyboards make it like stupid easy to get that done. And the reason that the color automatically adapts for the background is if you select the background, you'll see that the background color is system background. And of course, you can change this if you want to be something static, but the system background is, as the name implies, the current theme background color. So either white or black based on light mode or dark mode. But let's change this to be something else like so. And let's select this image and give it a different tint color like so. Um, I meant to give it white like that. And of course, we can add other elements to this as well. So before we wrap up how to do these lawn screens, let's add a UI label. Stick it in right there. Let's set its text color to be white to match the image. Let's also change the text to be hello world. We want it centered. And we're going to give it some constraints before we bump up the font size. So let's hit this icon. This will be zero from the image, left, right, and bottom, like so. And our text is centered in this container. And lastly, let's come over here and also increase the font size and the style. So we're going to make this bold and we'll bump up this number a couple points. So now we have this text down here as well. If we hit Command R to build and run, we still see our old launch screen because Apple sucks. So we're going to delete this icon. Hit Command R one more time to build and run. And we see we get our launch screen. So the other thing I'll mention is the duration that your launch screen shows on your device uh, is linearly aligned to how long your app takes to load and initialize. So some apps take longer to launch, which is why the screen is there. So the user knows it's launching some apps, especially like the one we have here launch very quickly because there's no content in it. Um, so that's just a good to, uh, point to know. And the other thing that I'll also say is some apps do some cool animations like the Twitter app, for example, has their logo, uh, kind of, zoom into the user as the app launches. Uh, it's a little tough to explain, but if you have the Twitter logo in the, in the middle and you want it to kind of expand so the app is kind of seen through the logo like a window, you can do some pretty cool animations if you tie this launch screen to some code. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments and I'd be happy to do videos on that. That's it. If you haven't done so already, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave any other comments if you have any questions or video suggestions. Always love hearing from you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.